hello. Oh, those are gorgeous. But you should have checked the rotation. I don't think Elizabeth is here today. Well, now who says they're for Elizabeth? Oh, that is very sweet of you. Thank you. Mm, if this is a build-up to asking me out, the flowers really weren't necessary. <laughs> I don't have time to waste playing hard to get. <laughs> you know, you remind me a lot of my, my late wife, Emily. She faced cancer with the same grace and strength that you show. She wasn't quite as funny as you, but <laughs> she always had the same positive outlook. And she, too, loved flowers. Well, she had excellent taste in men. You're a true gentleman. And I have to admire your persistence. I adore Elizabeth, but she is doing everything in her power to freeze you out, and yet, here you are again, back yeah, for more. I know. I guess I'm just a glutton for punishment, aren't I? Hey. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, bringing Shirley flowers? Why? Do you really expect me to believe that? Mmm. Nice work on these eggs, man. Just the way I like them. Good. Yes. Probably about the only thing I remember how to make. Really? Yeah. That surprises me when we were in Canada. With the diner, mm -hmm. you were well on your way to becoming a first-class short-order cook. Well, it's probably all in there somewhere, but I've just been so busy with work lately, I usually just get takeout or order pizza when the kids come over. You know, the whole cooking for one thing isn't very practical, and it's can be kind of depressing, to be honest. Yeah, well, you won't have to worry about that now. You won't be cooking for one. I'm here. At least for a while. Until Tracy comes to her senses and takes me back. Yeah, that sounds optimistic. I'm not worried. You know, she, uh, she just needs a little time, a little space. She misses me. She won't let this be forever. Before you know it, I'm going to be back at that quarter main mansion sipping cocktails with Alice pampering me. You know, Dad, it was uh, a fairly significant lie that you told Tracy. I mean, what makes you so sure she's ever going to take you back? You didn't even give this boy a chance to speak his piece. Speak up now. Be persuasive. Oh, yeah. A uh, little help. Be nice. I don't think anything I say here is going to matter. Uh, considering I am just another freeloading relative looking for a handout. No, no, no. You are a member of this family. You know what? None of this is any of your business. So tell Luke to give it up. He can find another sugar mama. I hear Helena's available. Tracy, is it really that easy for you to just throw away the last five years? I was the victim of a swindle. Nothing more. Yes, Luke conned you. Okay, and honestly, it's, it's actually quite amazing that he pulled it off for as long as he did. This is not helping. Right, sorry. Uh, what I think you're overlooking here is the fact that Luke made a key mistake, okay? He fell in love with the mark madly and deeply. And I think somewhere beneath all this justified righteous anger, you love him too. Okay, so all Luke wants to do is marry you legally, right? And for the sake of his happiness and for yours... And, and, uh, and ours especially. Yes, and ours. Please just take him back. Not a chance. I'm finally free of him. And I've never been happier. Hey, touch your plate. No, no, no. See, if you're going to come here and tell me that I'm an idiot and I did this all to myself, you can go right back. I don't need to hear it. Okay, I am on your side, okay? I think Steve is taking this too far. <laughs> all right, you guys were both really pissed off last night. You both said things in the heat of the moment that I don't think you really meant. And Steve should have lifted your suspension today. Yeah, you think? Yeah, I mean, after you guys both had calmed down. Well, it's very nice of you, Lisa, but don't you think you're being a little disloyal to your new man? Okay, just because I like someone doesn't mean that I automatically lose all my objectivity. I mean, think how many times you've been wrong. Nice to like you. <laughs> okay, I'll be the grown-up. I'll go back and I'll talk to Steve. I'm sure I can get your suspension lifted, okay? Well, that would be decent of you. All right. Well, yeah. It's purely for professional self-interest. So I need you back in my OR. You make me look good. All right, come on, chill out. Go get a beer. I'll go and I'll call you and let you know how everything goes. All right? <laughs> <laughs>